Hey, this is Jerry from Glitz Studio. And in this very short little tutorial, what I'm gonna do is build off of the last tutorial that I did with creating the structure for movement for a game similar to Roller Splat. So we're using swipe gestures. Now in the last tutorial, what I did was I used get key down or get key inputs as my input for the game. But now in this tutorial, what I'm gonna show is just adding swipe events. So then we'll be in truly the mobile format. And if you're ready to get started, let's go. Okay, so here we're back in Unity. So the thing that I wanna go ahead and do is what we didn't do in the last demo was set up our swipe controls. Now we set up the structure for swipe, but we're using our get key down input. Now what I wanna do is I wanna hook up uh, my iPhone with Unity Remote 5. So you can download this app. You can also download it on Android as well. It gives you some instructions on screen to say, hey, go into the edit project settings editor to then be able to use your phone to touch control the editor. Okay, so let's go and do this. I have my phone uh, connected to my computer with a wire. So let's go into edit and project settings and then editor. And then here you can see under Unity remote device, I'm gonna use my iPhone, okay? So I'm gonna close out of this in that way. Whenever I hit play in the editor, whatever I do on my phone will control the will control the screen. So the game scene is not one to one. So just know that there's you know Unity Remote Five is just a little bit older an app, and I wish they would update it. It gives you a way to test touch events directly within the editor. And what I want to do is I want to go ahead and set up those touch events. So in our managers. We've got movement. Currently in my movement control, you can see that I'm detecting input and I've got swipe up, down, left, right. But of course, what I'm using is get key down. So I know that these all work. I can swipe up, down, left, right, or I can use get my arrow keys to uh, navigate my scene that I have so far. But I wanna go ahead and add swipe events. Now, this is really, really easy with Playmaker. So what I'm gonna do is just go swipe Oops, let's type in swipe. Here we go, we've got swipe gesture event. So let's go ahead and add that to our action set over here. And the cool thing is you can see swipe left, right, up is already built into the uh, gesture event. So the I can directly connect those to the events that I have here. So I can have both swipe and key down events directly within the same detection system. So what I've got here is, let's go ahead and just connect all of our links here. So swipe left, we wanna to connect to swipe left. Swipe right, we're gonna connect swipe right, so on and so forth. Okay, so I have those set up. Now the next thing I need to take a look at is the minimum swipe distance. Now the minimum swipe distance is the amount of screen real estate that it takes for the user to move their finger on the device for it to recognize that event. Now, the this is a normalized number based off of the width of the screen. So all the way from the left side of the screen to the all the way to the right side of the screen is one. So point one, I have to minimally swipe my finger on the screen. So that's something you're gonna to wanna to play with. I wouldn't put it as a big number. Let's go ahead, I'm just gonna put it as 0.2. And then I'm gonna give it a try. So I've got my phone connected and let's just give this a test. Now I know that there's, I can only do up, left, right, and down in a certain pattern here because the walls are blocking in this certain pattern. So I'm gonna do swipe up. And you can see that that works, swipe right swipe down and swipe left and those all work perfect cool so there we go we have now set up swipe events just by putting in that one action and then of course it's tied to our swipe event that we are setting up for each one we're doing a translate of the ball we are also uh, setting up a ray cast in the direction the ball is moving so that we can detect when it's when the ball has hit a an, another object. And there we go, there's swipe events. 
In this tutorial, we went ahead and put together the swipe events for the movement for our roller splat type game. And in the next tutorial, we're gonna to start to put together our very first level. Again, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and that little bell icon down there so you know when the next tutorial is available. Until next time, peace.